Want to learn Roblox Lua? You've come to the right place. I'm assuming you know how to work Studio. I'm not going to go through that. There's plenty of videos out there. Um, I'm going to make a new place. I'll save it later. Yeah, you just have you know, a place to save your script. So, uh, right, make sure that you got Explorer open. Uh, I'm going to go to the View tab. Uh, Explorer, make sure Properties is open. Uh, output, need that. Script analysis, definitely need that. Gives us a little bit more help. Uh, and the command bar. That should be it for now. I'm going to go ahead and insert a script inside of Workspace. Uh, I can either right click on Workspace, hit Insert Object, or I can click the plus side, be a side Workspace, and click on Script as well. So once we click on the script, it'll put a new script in. It'll open the script. We see print with some parentheses, and inside the quotes, there's a hello world with an exclamation point. Well, what's this going to do? Well, it's going to print hello world into the output. So I'm going to go to the uh, test tab, and I'm going to go ahead and hit run instead of play, because we won't need our character for a bit. I'm sorry, guys, but we're going to have to go through some of the basics before we actually learn how to make you know, some games. In output, it prints at Hello World. And I can change this to pretty much whatever I want. Uh, I can say Hello Roblox instead. And uh, when I hit run, it'll print Hello Roblox inside of output. That's all dandy. Uh, I can put a number in here too. Let's say if I just uh, want to print 4, uh, it's going to print 4. <laughs> uh, right, so uh, now onto variables and identifiers. Um, actually, the same thing, variable or identifier, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go local and zoom in here. Can you see that? Zoom in a bit more. Okay, so local, um, I don't know, x equals 4. And then uh, I'll do another variable local y equals 5. Um, I'll get into what that local means later on whenever we get into functions. Uh, but uh, yeah, x and y are just uh, names of variables that we can you know set data to. So uh, if I want to go ahead and print x and uh, print y right underneath of that. So uh, scripts run from top to bottom. Um, it doesn't matter if you tab, uh, if you put a space in between the lines, um, as long as you know everything has a uh, space between it, um, you know you'll you'll run fine. But to put it like this, make it look a bit cleaner. So for printing x and y, you can see we got four and five inside the output, and you can also do math. Do some x plus y. That should be 9. Yep. And uh, I can also do uh, x minus y. What do you guys think it'll be? All right, time's up. Hit run. We've got negative 1 inside of output. Because x is 4, y is 5. 4 minus 5 is negative 1. So... Uh, it's in the name, variable, they are variable, and I can prove that right now. So uh, I'm going to put x underneath this print, uh, x equals 6. I'm also going to put y equals um, 7. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, right, let's run it, go for it. Okay, it's still going to put negative 1. What are we doing here? Well. Whenever we define a variable, we need local. Any other time that you're going to use that same variable, you don't have to put local. That's just whenever you define it. Again, I'll get into local later, but yeah. So if I put print underneath of this x and y with its new data, uh, let's do x plus y. So what do you think it'll be? Vote now on your phones. Okay. The tallies are in. It's 13. Uh, why? Because x is now 6, and y is 7, and uh, x plus y, 6 plus 7, is 13. Alright, let's do something a bit more interesting than 
numbers. Maybe. I don't know. Is it? Uh, put a string in the quotes, like the hello world. I'm going to put uh, this is my string inside the quotes. Uh, X is boring. Um, we're going to change it, the variable to my string. Uh, y is kind of boring too. So I'm going to put this as your string. Now they're technically the scripts. Actually, no. I'm going to put this as my uh, var for variable. Yeah. yeah. Technically, these are the scripts variables, not ours. But uh, yeah, this is your string will be inside of your var. So if I print my var, go ahead and run it. It'll print out this is my string. Um, you can't add strings. It'll uh, yell at you for doing that. Um, the workspace script for attempt to perform arithmetic add on string. Uh, yeah, it, it doesn't like that. So you can't add strings, but you can string together strings. So I guess you can call that adding. If you put uh, two dots in between variables or strings or whatever, uh, like if I did, um, let's just say, uh, hello, inside of this, with these two dots, this is my string hello. Mm. Those two dots are connecting the strings. So uh, I can put in your var, because that's a string. And uh, I'm actually going to put a space, because I didn't see a space inside of that. So I'm going to make a string with a space inside of it, connect it with two dots. There we go. This is my string, this is your string, are now printing together. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to go over more data types. There's more than just uh, numbers and strings. Uh, I'll get into that later. Um, just some other basic concepts. Uh, you want to be consistent. Um, if I were to try and do print with like a capital P, that ain't going to work. Then it's not going to fly with Lua or output. So yeah, if I wanted to print my var with a capital P, it's going to be like, I don't know what that is. You're confusing me. So yeah, print is always lowercase. You know, if I try to call a variable, uh, let's say if I put my var without any uh, capitals, um, it's going to do the same thing. It's just going to print nil because uh, that variable doesn't exist.